The Top 10 Islands to Visit in Africa When you hear the name Africa, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Driving games? Wildlife? Endless forests? Have you ever visualized long, white beaches and tiny islands in Africa? If not, then you are in for a treat with this video. Africa is home to some of the most beautiful islands, beaches, and marine life in the world. It's a beach lover's dream come true. Here you can find a variety of birds, including penguins, historical sites, cold and warm waterways, and threatened plant and animal species. Many of the islands in Africa are independent sovereign entities. Here are the top 10 islands in Africa that you shouldn't miss this year. Are you loving this video? If yes, then don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number 1. Cape Verde Islands The important western coast island of Cape Verde acts as a bridge to other African islands. One of the 10 most stunning islands in Africa is Sal, which is a part of Cape Verde. Sal is home to the renowned town of Santa Maria. The Cape Verde turtles are waiting to welcome you at any time of year. Visitors can adopt a young sea turtle in Cape Verde and receive a certificate in return. The months of November through June are the ideal times to visit Cape Verde. Praia de Santa Maria, Praia de Chaves, Cidade Velha, and São Vicente are just a few of the locations worth visiting in this area. You might go trekking, participate in water sports, ride horses, surf, or dive in Cape Verde. Number 2. Sao Tome and Principe The second smallest nation on the African continent and the most picturesque island is Sao Tome and Principe. It is located off Central Africa's west coast. Sao Tome and Principe is a popular island for tourists, since it offers alternatives for adventurous activities. Volcanic activity created the islands. The best vegetation may be found all throughout the island, including biodiverse rainforests. Portuguese is the most common language used in Sao Tome and Principe. The island is a popular destination for sports enthusiasts. You may go snorkeling, fishing, bird watching, and doing other activities on the island. The months of February, August, and December are the ideal times to travel to Sao Tome and Principe. Obo National Park, the southeastern beaches, and Pico de Sao Tome are three of the nation's most visited tourist destinations. Number 3. Moheli. The smallest of the three African islands that make up the Comoros is Moheli, often known as Mwali. The sole national park in the Comoros is located on the island of Moheli and is called Moheli Marine Park. The marine life in this park, including sea turtles, dolphins and whales, is abundant. Moheli has 38,000 residents and a total area of 290 square kilometers. The months of April through November are the ideal times to visit Moheli. In Moheli, there are numerous attractive locations to explore, such as Naomachia Beach, Chishiwa Awinafu, and Marangoni Beach. You can go sailing, boating, fishing, snorkeling, and whale watching while in Moheli. Number 4. Nosy B. The little island of Madagascar is a traveler's paradise for those who like outstanding natural beauty. The area is renowned for its calm, the presence of a turquoise ocean, and the caliber of the seafood restaurants on the sand. The island of Madagascar, which is also the fourth largest in the world, is home to a diverse range of plants and animals. The Indian Ocean island of Nosy B is home to upscale dining establishments, lodging alternatives, and shopping centers. May through October is the ideal season to visit Nosy B in Madagascar. Andalana, Nosy Aranja, Lemuria Land, and Mont Passot are notable destinations in Nosy B. Numerous sports include scuba diving, watching the sunset from Mont Passot, kayaking, and Nosy B. Number 5. Mauritius. Mauritius, the cultural melting pot of Africa, is the ideal beach destination for you. The multiculturalism and long, beautiful beaches of Mauritius are well known features. Madagascar and the Southeast Seychelles are located in the region to the east of Mauritius. There is a dodo bird in Mauritius that has long been extinct. You can find more in Mauritius than just beaches. For instance, there are around 650 different plant species in the Pamplemousses Botanical Garden. Mauritius is the most frequently chosen location in South Africa 
due to the diversity of its nature. Port Louis, Rodrigues Island, the East Coast Island of Mauritius, the inland and the centers, the south, the southeast, and the west and southwest are significant locations you shouldn't miss in Mauritius. The two ideal times of year to visit Mauritius are from April to June. Number 6. Praslin The Seychelles' second largest island is Praslin. Once a shelter for Arab traders and even pirates, Praslin is now a well-liked tourist destination with a number of hotels and beach resorts. There are various sizable tropical forest regions in Praslin, home to native species such as the Seychelles Bulbul and Seychelles Black Parrot. The idyllic vacation destination of Praslin Island blends a modest population with natural splendor. It is farther away from the crowded Mai and closer to the peaceful La Digue. Praslin Island could be a fantastic place to start excursions to nearby Cousine Island, Curieux, or St. Pierre. The three biggest towns in Praslin are Bay St. Anne, Grand Ants, and Cote d'Or. Number 7. Tunisia Island In Tunisia, there are about 30 islands. Jerba is the most well-known island in Tunisia. It is located off the coast of southern Tunisia and is the largest island in North Africa. In Jerba, the Bieber language is spoken. The Lalahadria Museum offers information about Tunisian and Arab Islamic history to visitors. There are 15 galleries with more than a thousand works of art in this museum. The tourism industry has suffered significantly since the terrorist incident in 2015. We can now see a resurgence in that. Jerba is a favorite among tourists due to its fine sand beaches, possibilities for beach activities, and top-notch dining establishments. The Tunisian islands are best visited during the summer, which runs from May to October. This amphitheater. Number 8. Seal Island the vast number of Cape fur seals that once roamed the area gave rise to Seal Island. The distance between the island and the artificial bay is 3.5 miles. The granite in the soil makes it impossible for any life to exist on Seal Island. There are several seal colonies all around the shores of the southern African islands, providing countless opportunities for seal expeditions. Many seals will be encountered throughout the journey, so bring your cameras. Between the months of July and November, it is the ideal time to explore Seal Island. There are numerous locations on Seal Island, including Musenberg Beach, Boulder's Penguin Beach, and the Cape of Good Hope. Number 9. Zanzibar Island The largest island off the coast of Tanzania is Zanzibar, which is often referred to as Unguja. East African island called Zanzibar. The island serves as a crucial diplomatic crossroads for trade between Arabia and India. This island is made beautiful by the gorgeous white sand beaches that the turquoise sea laps up. The second largest industry in Zanzibar's economy, after tourism, is spice farming. Because of the production of cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and black pepper, the area is also known as a spice island. July through September is the ideal season to visit the island of Zanzibar. Among this island's top attractions are Fort Viejos de Zanzibar, Fora Veni Park, etc. On the island of Zanzibar, you may go sightseeing, fish, or watch butterflies, among other activities. Number 10. Lamu Island One of the oldest islands in East Africa is Lamu, which is populated by Swahili communities. As there are no roads on the island, only alleyways and trails exist, which results in fewer automobiles. There are inside courtyards and elaborately carved wooden doors among the town's characteristic architectural features. The National Museums of Kenya, which promote the island's cultural heritage, include the Lamu Museum. Since 2001, Lamu Island has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. For more than 700 years, the island has been a hub of Islamic culture. Its hotels are known for offering fantastic, barefoot luxury experiences. The island is best visited from July to October during the dry season. Think about January and February as well. The island of Lamu is known for its noteworthy attractions. There are different activities on Lamu Island, such as sailing a thou, visiting Sheila Village, enjoying the cuisine, visiting Manda Island, snorkeling, and scuba diving. Did you like it? Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.